Hey everyone, my name is Greg Lubart and I'm going to tell you why this 1950 Oldsmobile 88 rocket is the ideal COVID-19 automobile. I bought this car in 1978 when I was 19 years old. So there's a fit right away with COVID-19. At the time the car was 28 years old and this year it turned 70. This car is completely original. It's the original paint, the original chrome, uh, not the original white walls, the original interior, you can see Futuramic. So remember this was one of the first years that there were post-World War II cars. And rockets were all the thing. The Rocket 88. It's my Gettysburg College freshman year parking sticker and also that next year I took organic chemistry at Dickinson College in Carlisle, coincidentally which is where I purchased this car. So this was my everyday driver for many years. In fact, two different times in my life I lived in this car. And you can see there's a nice patina to it. Some of the paint is a little thin, but it's 70 years old. Here we have a few interesting original documents. This is the actual assembly plant packing slip from where the car was released on October 19, 1950 from a plant in Wilmington, Delaware to Myers Old Sales and Service in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. And this is the original owner's manual for the car. And then this is the notarized sales slip from the gentleman I purchased the car from on April 29th, 1978. The owner's manual is kind of fun to go through and it's only 24 pages long. You know how the owner's manuals are today. And it's filled with cool little diagrams and even cartoons. So we'll take a look inside. So some features that make this COVID-19 safe. First of all, very cleanable surfaces. Nice, hard metal dashboard. And a very large back seat, perfect for social distancing with a person on each side. And the same holds true for the bench style front seat. Well, here we have an ad from the time. Make a date in a Rocket 8. It's safe social distancing here on the Rocket, but again, this was 1950. Let's look at some other features. Now that we're in the car, it does have a tube radio. Only AM was invented. And we'll wait till that warms up. No COVID safety feature there. Also my high school graduation tassel, 1977. I didn't buy the car till 78, but I did go to my girlfriend's senior prom in this car. Also had my first date with my wife in this car. That would have been in 1986. All right. We'll turn that off. Car is 69,000 original miles. And that probably seems like a low number. But let's, let's look for some validation. Well, here on the door jam in 1960, the car had 18,000 226 miles. The original VIN number here. 
So another thing you notice is no side view mirrors. Side view mirrors were not stock then. And that's also not a social distancing or a COVID safety feature. In fact, at least side view mirrors give you another eight or 10 inches or so of spacing between pedestrians and bicyclists. But the car does have these cool vent windows. Of course, air conditioning wasn't standard in this car, neither was power steering or power brakes. Another definite safety feature, at least for viruses, there are no seat belts. Seat belts were not invented yet, so there's no extra cloth that could act as a fomite. The car did have this, oh, plenty of ashtrays, not a safety feature. It was an ashtray in the back and an ashtray in the front, but it did have this cord which can be used to hang on. Now, in the unfortunate scenario that you were in a car accident, it's pretty safe to say you would be launched a safe distance from the car. So I guess that's kind of a feature. Well, let's see about starting the car up. So it's kind of cool thing about this car, even though it's 70 years old, it had a push button start. So no plastic key fob, just a nice cleanable metal key. You insert the key, put the car in neutral. There was no park then, but this is an automatic, three-speed automatic. Press down on the button. Maybe a little gas. Maybe a little more gas. Oh, maybe turn the key. Let's try turning the key this time. Turn in the key. It liked that better. And now our eight cylinders with overhead valves and our 303 cubic inch engine roars to life. Actually, it's kind of quiet. And this shows the Neutral, drive, low, and reverse. That's about all you had to worry about. Another thing that was kind of cool is the wipers work off a vacuum. So there are wipers going, but if you speed up, the wipers slow down. And when you let go, the wipers speed up. Slow down, speed up. Um, not really a safety feature. Let's take a look under the hood. There are a few safety features here. So this engine is pretty much untouched. I've never had it cleaned. It's got a giant air filter. So you could definitely soup that baby up and clean out all kinds of particles, including viral particles. There's your Oldsmobile Rocket nameplate. Uh, one of the drawbacks of this car it's a six volt battery. So a buddy of mine calls it the golf cart because it will actually run on a golf cart battery. Now, this at one time was the glass for the windshield washer, but it's never worked and I've never really uh, done anything with it, but it could potentially be used to store disinfectants and antivirals. And you can see it's a carburetor. And this was a very fast car in its time. Um, not the sedan model, but the two-door, the coupe. And also, they would take these Rocket 8s out of the uh, Oldsmobile sedans and put them into smaller cars, like little Fords, and race them. And in fact, the Olds Rocket 88, probably the 1949, was one of the first, if not the first, NASCAR vehicle. The other thing I want to mention about this car is when it was built, we had not discovered DNA. So DNA, the double helix, was not even described until this car was already three years old. Let's close up the hood. Nothing quiet about it.
The very first rock and roll song was about the Olds 88. Let's take a listen. Jackie Brenston and his Delta Cats. You women have heard of Jalopy, you heard the noise they make, but let me introduce my new Rocket 88. Yes, it's great, just one way. Everybody likes my Rocket 88. Maybe we'll ride in style. Okay, now that we have some good cruising music, let's go for a little cruise. It's beautiful Lake Anne here. It actually turns pretty well. Beeped at a new friend I made. <laughs> 